Dr. Richmond Lloyd and I'm the fish vet. Today we've been called to have a look at this pond. Uh, basically the owner has lost five fish last week, um, around this size. And there are a few more that are showing some raised um, lesions on the skin and also a bit of redness. So we're going to figure out what exactly is affecting these fish. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run water testing. Uh, and then we're going to microscopically examine fish skin mucus as well as gill biopsies. So we'll go to that now. Right, okay. so with this guy, uh, you can see the fins are a bit torn uh, to be damaged from scratching itself or getting lodged somewhere. But over here you can see there's a little tag um, of skin where it's hurt itself. Most likely the parasite's causing irritation and it scratched itself. So, okay, so since we've got him out, we might just take the sample. Just so scrape from the area. Pull off the tag. So that scale would be quite necrotic on the edges and bacteria can start eating away and it makes it hard for it to heal. Those other scales are still good. So we'll just give it some spray of betadine. Well, because betadine will just uh, wash off straight away when you add it, put the fish back into the water. We're going to add this fish bandage. Betadine just stays on the skin. Here's the uh, scale that we took off uh, the fish. You can see there's a bacterial erosion uh, away at that corner. And in time, because it was flapping around, the blood can deliver white cell blood cells to um, fight the bacteria. The bacteria is going to gain hold of that area and slowly it's going to start creeping in and taking over and start eating into the flesh of the fish. So it's a good thing to remove things like this and just give it some topical antiseptic. Uh, that's all you need. You don't need to go with systemic antibacterials unless they are septicemic. So this is just a superficial uh, wound. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got a, I think it's a beko. I might be incorrect, but uh, this is one thing, black and white fish. Bit like a Dalmatian. Uh, you can see on the left side here of the flank, uh, it's got some redness on the body. This redness could be back set, bacterial infection setting in, or it could be because some uh, sorts of parasites are causing irritation. So we're just going to take a gill biopsy and skin mucus scrape uh, from this guy, and then we'll have a look. Skin, I'll go out, see first. And skin to scrape. And I will release the fish. And we'll examine that down the microscope. So here we're examining the skin mucus scrape at 400 times magnification. Uh, to the right is the host cells and you can see some motility to the left of the screen. And these are the parasites we're looking for. They're much smaller than the host cells. And you can see the, by the way that they move, they are flagellated protozoa. Uh, this is known as costia. Uh, the actual name of it is Ichthyobodo. So we're examining another section of the skin mucus scrape and here we can see a uh, fluke. Uh, the eye spots tell you that it's actually a gill fluke. And finding gill flukes on the skin is not uncommon and it suggests that there's such high numbers of, of flukes affecting the gills that they are now also present on the skin. So what we found is we found some gill flukes and also some ichthyobodo. The old name was uh, Costia which is also called uh, winter disease. 
Um, so to battle that, uh, with the two different parasites and possible septicemia, we're going to first start with formalin treatment. This will uh, get rid of your ichthyobodo and have some effect on your gill flukes as well. Um, the water temperature is about 19 degrees, so in a week's time, we're going to start with targeting the, uh, the gill flukes. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to use uh, trichloroform. The pH in this tank uh, is only 6.5 to 7, uh, so that's going to make it very effective for the trichloroform to have effect on the dactylogyra. gyre. So we're going to do it every week um, with a 30% water change prior to each treatment. So the trichloroform here, we're using it at 1 milligram per litre and with three treatments because the egg stage uh, is resistant to any sort of treatment. And with some fish showing some fin erosion, uh, rot and also skin um, congestion on the skin and things like that, that's a sign that septicemia is setting in and maybe superficial bacterial infection as well. Possibly because the fish have been scraping themselves, the external trauma uh, gives an avenue or portals of entry for bacteria. So what we're gonna do is in food, uh, we've measured uh, two weeks worth of food here. Um, so that's one kilogram of food, to which we're going to add some um, trimethoprim sulfonamide at 60 milligrams per kilogram uh, of food. And as well, we've added vitamin C at about uh, 700 milligrams per kilogram of food. So we're just going to show you how we mix up the medicine uh, to make medicated food. The food, we're just going to pour it into a plastic bag. You can use a bucket or anything that you have available at the time. And to that, you're just going to add your powdered medication. It's got vitamin C as well as a trimethoprim sulfonamide. And we'll just make sure that we close that so that you don't get to breathe any of that in. And Give that a mix. Once the powder is coated uh, evenly, all the food, you can then add some vegetable oils. You can use olive oil or vegetable oil uh, or fish oil for that matter. You can see the powder has sort of coated the um, pellets evenly. And we'll probably use one to two caps full of oil. And before that sets in too quickly or absorb in any control pellets, again, just give that a quick mix. And here you can see the white powder is sort of uh, with the combination of the oil, it's sort of soaked into the pellet, so it shouldn't um, escape. Uh, this is okay for fish that are still eating uh, quite quickly, uh, as soon as, you, as, the, as the food hits the water. Uh, don't put too much oil because it will create an oil slick on the surface. Um, if the fish aren't really eating that well uh, or quickly, they're not used to eating quickly, you can actually coat it with gelatin. Uh, or agar. So with that, you need to, I guess, boil hot water or cook the uh, gelatin or agar over the stove, uh, and then just pour. You can mix the uh, antibiotics or medicines into the agar, um, and then pour it over your pellets, and then mix it quickly um, with a spoon in a jar, and then let it cool down. Uh, with those foods, you need to keep them refrigerated uh, so that the gelatin and the agar don't melt or go off. Uh, with this food, because it was dry and we're just adding oil, uh, you can just keep it at room temperature uh, and just feed it out as you go along. So this is a uh, formalin mix. We normally add it into a watering can, so you can distribute it evenly so that uh, you don't get any hot spots where the fish will be exposed to too much medicine at any one time, uh, cause severe burns or crink out or anything like that. Uh, the other thing as well, the owner has got a UV in the filter, so we've asked the owner to turn that off uh, before we started treating.
you got any questions make sure you put them in the comments thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to get updates of our future videos and have a fantastic week Thank you.